not Ricky. So yeah. me spending time explaining to people what he meant to me doesn't bring me closer to him. You That's true. <laughs>I'm nice, my king. How you doing, man? All good, all good, all good. Shout out for your long arms. You know what I'm saying? I need yeah, you stretch. know, we got to have that reach, you know, yeah, not just for you, but I to like the subscribers, that. you know? I like that. Yeah, yeah. man. How you been, though? How you doing? Man, I'm chilling, man. I'm blessed. I'm happy. Uh, I'm alive. Amen and, uh, to that, man. We yeah. lost a lot of people over the past two years. Between COVID and all these freak accidents, you know, yeah, I'm well. actually, it's a blessing to still have you around and it's a blessing to still be alive in 2022 at the end of it, you know. For sure. For um, sure. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are out here in Brom. Mr. Stilo himself has just recently opened up a brand new store, launched a new uh, clothing, clothing, uh, clothing line, sorry. And yeah, we're just here to check it out, find out more about what's going on, all right? Now, before we get into it, we just like to say shout out to all of our subscribers, man. We see you, subbies. You stay consistent. You've been growing with us. It's been almost six months, and we're well over a thousand subscribers. You know our views are climbing each and every episode. So keep on uh, hitting that like, subscribe, and share button, and don't forget that notification bell. All right, all right then. So let's get right into it, man. We're out here in Bromfontein. You know, got the new store. I actually what's, it was privileged. What's privilege. the store? What's the name of the store? I see boys in the hood. Would that no, be would that be correct? A, that's a that's a wrong assumption. All right, so that that's would the be the water. clothing line that just dropped. That's the yeah. That's so the, this would be the, the water store. That's the water bodega. The water bodega. Y'all heard that? Y'all got that right? So we actually posted up at the water bodega. You know what I mean? Yeah. With the owner of the said water bodega, Mr. Yeah. Water himself, man. That was good, man. Tell me, I, I I had a few a few weeks ago, I had a, uh, the privilege of actually bumping into you, right? Mm. Um, I think I was on my way from work or something, and I bumped into you, and we had a short chat. I saw the store, I checked out the merch. It was crazy, you know. It was really really crazy. So I want yeah. you to tell me more. Like, um, I know that water's been around for a lot of years. Yeah. Um, but you know, prior to that. Well, I mean, before, I mean, I've seen a few of the collections that came out, you know, especially when you guys are pushing. I remember seeing it on the black and white video. Um, come back to me. I'm on Tomba Zani remix. Yeah. yeah. I, that was the first time I saw water merch in the video. Okay. When you were dripping that shit in that video. Right? Yeah, yeah. So um, from that to the new sunset orange theme that you got going on with this new summer collection that I see. Yeah. I want you to tell me more about it, man, and tell the subscribers as well more about it. Um... Water started off as a as a, a art slash streetwear brand. Mm. Um, it, com it was um, founded by myself and uh, a friend of mine uh, at the time called Mandy Singh mm. He was a visual artist, and uh, we started this brand. And um, at the time, we were very into like Aztec, like uh, hieroglyphics. Oh like, yeah, uh, that was like kind of our thing, you know. Uh, as you can see in the logo, there's a set in the A. Yeah. Um, that was the thing. And then um, as the brand developed and then we also parted ways, he moved on to uh, other things that he's doing now. You Understandably, know? you know. Um, yeah. There's so many different ranges that I've done. I then later, later, I think maybe two years later, because what was founded in 2012, 2011, 2012, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that sounds about right. And um, then I did... Then I then I started birthing sub brands within water. Whoa! Which was um, I started a brand called Shots. Okay. I started a brand called Shot by Water. Sure. Sure. And um, and basically what Shot was was like creating brands that could be way more uh, fast fashion, more uh, like consumer more consumer food. friendly. Yeah. Because sometimes um, the, the the how water how water drops would be it would be like yeah. far and few in between. It wouldn't Definitely. be like all the time, you yeah. know. Um, be because, like very uh, signature yeah. pieces. I yeah, because water's always been like 
we 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 always like um, like being the like being exclusive mm. and um, catering to a specific clientele that kind of really resonates with the with the, the brand itself with the brand itself because yeah. um, what is an acronym on its own? It's, uh, oh, crazy! Yeah. Please tell us what does it stand for? Uh, winners achieve true excellence religiously. Woo. So it's bigger than it's bigger than me. It's bigger than it's bigger than most of us. Bigger than all of us, man. I mean, you know. Um, hold on, hold on. Tell us that one more time. Winners, Winners achieve, achieve true, true excellence religiously. Excellence religiously. Yeah. Amen. Religiously yeah. so. Yeah. Amen. That sounds that sounds amazing, man. Are you done? Good thing. Good thing. Hey, look who just stepped on. All right, man. You know, um, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, we just were joined by Miss Lynn Chocolate. Uh, yeah, so. Lint has just arrived in the building and she, you know, was actually meant to have this interview with me and, uh, and you, yeah. you know, so yeah, it's, it's great that she's arrived. Hey Lint, how you doing? Are oh, we good, man? Yeah. All right, man, that's great. So now talk to me about the new collection, Boys in the Hood, right? I, I, I want to understand because we, we all, mo most of us, I think we were, we were familiar with the, with the movie, right? Yeah. Right. So was that part of the inspiration? Um. For the collection, no. Okay. But um, with the inception of the of the, so Boys in the Hood is an event, right? That I did for my birthday party. Oh, okay, that's dope. Um, for the past eight years, all my birthday parties were yeah. themed behind movies, like, cause oh. um, when I was uh, when I like eight years, ten years ago, I started mm. saying this thing like, if something is dope, I'm like, yo, it's a movie, you know? Yeah, yeah, uh, because yeah. Because I think like a lot of like references, I always. Used because a lot of people used to say, in order for you to be successful in life, mm. you need to read more books, you know? Yeah. And I always used to believe, like, if you watch movies, it could have a, a, similar, a similar effect. effect. And that you makes know? sense. There's a lot of knowledge I've gained from movies. Yeah. Um, historical knowledge, educational knowledge, mm. linguistics. There's yeah. so many things I've learned. So, yeah. um, so I, I started this thing where, where every year... I theme my birthday party behind a movie. So I did, I've done like New Jack City. Sure. I've done Paid in Full. I've hey. done like, I've done a Have couple you done, of things. Uh, Training Day? Nah, 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 Not nah. Yet? Training Day, um, I think Training Day, just the theme of it is too narcissistic mm. uh, in nature. Yeah. And also it's not inclusive of uh, a lot of people. Yeah. Party it's, because it's, yeah. It's, it's kind of like two main characters and yeah, everybody else yeah. is just like, scenes Subs, right yeah absolutely. so uh didn't do training day because but like i've always thought like um uh what is it i think his name is alonzo yeah. the character yeah, is alonzo. alonzo yeah it is i think alonzo i think alonzo as a character is oh. like wow i, you know? I believe there's a lot of us who can, re to, who can actually relate to some of the things he went through yeah you know? yeah, so, definitely. yeah i think All it's right. just generally light skin problems <laughs> Because, I mean, he was, like, the real Alonzo was a, yeah, was a, was was a light-skinned light cop, you know? Yeah. So he never felt like he was respected Black enough. enough because, obviously, yeah. the treatment, yeah. yeah. And when they see him with a badge, it's like, okay, not only are you 5 old, but you're he not was even like black. Larry, he was like, um, in Bad Boys, this is Mike Lowry. Mm, mm. Is the Mike Lowry yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel that. I love what I've seen, man, in terms of the brand. And I saw it's, 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 it's you got the two-piece, right? Yeah, yeah. And then what other pieces of clothing merch have you launched because i've seen them i actually saw this exact orange two-piece on big zulu at the sa hip-hop awards yeah, yeah. Uh, a few weeks a few days ago around the 6th of december you know and awesome. i was like damn i was just at the store it's so cool you know when you actually come through and you see this and the next thing you yeah. see a celeb rocket it's like damn they are actually supporting the culture you yeah, know that's, yeah that's my that's my brother man uh, nah, shout out and yeah, how important do you brother. feel so like for you how important do you feel like it is for you to receive um, industry support whenever you launch or promote anything, whether it be it music or water, or um, do you feel do you feel like it matters for you to have like you know the big Zulus come in and actually like you know show support for the brand? I think uh, I believe that it takes a it takes a village to raise a child. Mm. Um, mm. I was raised by the streets, so I believe that anything that I birth, yeah. the streets should help raise it too. Definitely. So uh, that when I say the streets, that's like my friends, my family, mm. my acquaintance, mm. my colleagues. So you know what I mean? Because 
and also but only support it and raise it with me if you think it's dope yeah don't, do, don't it. do it because you think you know you're gonna benefit something it's not out for the of sake it. yeah it's not for the sake of doing it you yeah know? Uh, and that's why it's my gotta product, be purposeful yeah because water water ever since the inception of water water has never been seeded mm. we don't seed water 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 is not free mm. anywhere in the world water is not free even ocean water is not, it's not free. free to go to the beach you have you to pay. pay yeah so, therefore not to say that oh yeah you have to pay but it's just to appreciating the no, value it's not even the appreciation it's like oh yeah you treat things differently when you pay for them that is very true that is, it's the same concept as if uh, uh for example if i lend you something yeah because it's not yours you're yeah. not you're going to be less inclined to look after it but if you had been the one who'd actually gone and paid for that yeah. you're gonna make sure you take care of it because you know what you had to part with to get it exactly and also another thing is like if i seed you something right yeah it's one of those things where if i choose what i'm seeding you maybe you don't like it so you don't wear it right mm. or you wear it you wear it to go to the store you don't wear it as you don't, wear flash it. It. You don't drip it yeah Aye. But water, you can't help but drip. I was about to say, like, I've never seen a, 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 um, a clothing piece by water, whether a cap, whether anything, that didn't, like, just have drip written all over it. I mean, you know. You could never see it and just be like, you, I'm going to wear this and go to the shop and just go buy a cigarette. But you know? then, also, another thing that you need to remember is that, um, like, the, like, a drip is literally just a small fragment of water. Exactly. Very small. Very, very small. In comparison, so you know, yeah. it's like when you got drip, you're okay, but when you got water, you got the whole way. I mean, you know, come on, Utafu. come on, Utafu. but now, you know, Silo, as much as I'm really enjoying talking about water, you know, I know I'm not the only person who, who got to learn and got to be exposed to, uh, got to be exposed to you through yeah. your music, man. Yeah, and you know, I believe, um, when we enter in any industry. The reason we came in should always, we should never forget the core, you know, as much as we can expand and, you know, become that more diverse, we should never forget what, or what, what brought us there, you know? Yeah. So I know you're doing the merch and you've been doing the merch for as, almost as long as you've been doing the music thing, right? Yeah. So they're almost synonymous for you. Yeah. So I'd like to find out, you've got new merch mm -hmm. and what about on the music side? Are you planning on like coming back with another album? Are you planning on doing like a tour? Um, yeah, 2020, 2023, the, I'm definitely dropping a new album. Um, I just really, like, I prefer to put out music when we can actually be outside and enjoy the music because mm. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a live performer. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. like, you can make records and people can listen to the records and you can boast about your streams. But, yeah. but for me, there's no better feeling than being on stage and, and like, making people's nights or changing people's, people's lives, lives or yeah. affecting people in a way that uh that that that, that that's life more than just doing. like another track that i dropped you know yeah uh so right now we like um we're in prep to like like get in and like finish the project mm. and um mm -hmm. drop it in drop it in the following year shout and out it's be really dope and so um are you looking at uh, doing the whole distribution thing via like a major are you going to push it independently? My whole career I've been independent. I know that. That's why I'm asking. Because, you know, a lot of us know you as being an independent cat who came up, you yeah. know, not really in a, in, in a label, but more of a, a brotherhood of Boys and Bucks where you guys no, are independent. No, I didn't come up in like, a brotherhood. I came up, I didn't come up in a brotherhood. Okay. It's like, you know, let me tell you, you know what Boys and Bucks is? Boys and Bucks is like the Avengers. Everybody has their, their own, own movie. thing. Yeah. Everybody has their own movie and it's a successful movie at that respectfully every single Honestly. body from spicy pigo everybody's a living legend genuinely right? but now when you put the collective together mm. you know what people do as humans you choose your favorites Favorite. and then you start bumping down other people yeah. which is a terrible trait it is actually. it's like what it's like it's like with pretty girls and ugly girls you know what i'm saying and there's no such thing as ugly girls, ugly girls but true. there's pretty girls that make other girls feel ugly, ugly because of that type of thing ah, so when it comes to boys and bugs is that you must understand that i'm the holy trinity of it right because I've been, I've been doing this shit since I was like, probably like 17. Mm. I had the first reality show on this continent. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? That's crazy. I had like white <laughs> girls put my face on the walls. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Way back when. So it's really different for me. Yeah. It's really different for me. So for me, uh, when people when people come at me and say, oh, no, you know, the Boys and Bugs Collective did this. Yes, my brothers are amazing. Mm. We did a lot of incredible stuff. Yeah. But we... 
I've been doing shit. On I've been incredible own. for a long time. That's very true, you know man. What I'm saying? To even you... take it further, like yeah. I even like, I did this. I remember when, I think I was probably like seventeen. I did this. I did this ad called um, Lucky for for Lucky Star. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. Sure like the pictures, the, the, the two yeah. 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 yeah, that shit was huge. I can imagine the bag was probably. <laughs> it's not even about the bag for me. It's like, about yeah. the impact of what the things can do. That's true because you know, you know I'm for I me, I grew well. up in that joint, mm. and then I remember there was a point where people used to think that that's whack. Like, why would you why do a filter that? Yeah. I'm like, why what? would you do a Louis Vuitton ad when you can't even afford, afford it? it? Yeah. Ah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You like, that doesn't even make for sense. That, like, nah, for out. me, like, yeah. there's a lot of kids that eat pilchards today. They're probably going to have pilchards for, for mm. Christmas. Yeah, probably. I feel like I'm blessed to have been in, being in a position to be lucky. Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's, for me, it's like... The double entendre. I hope y'all caught that. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm a part of a bigger conversation. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? In my life, yeah. in their life. Mm. In this whole thing, you know mm. what I'm saying? So it's never about like I understand like people love like making it simple. It's, sim it's simpler when you say, "No man, Valpri belongs to Coca-Cola." It's easier. It is easy to but say that. Do you, but do you, do you know, know who's Valpri? Do you know who's Valpri? Do Actually, you know, yeah. Do you know that a lot of people don't drink water unless it's Valpri? Yeah. They, they, they don't do tap water. They only drink Valpri. But well, we do have the best tap water in the world. Shout out to Rad Water. Hey, man. <laughs> That's Come true, with the bag. Rad Water. We need a collab. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, put that in there. Come on, let's make it happen, man. Yeah. Now, but shout out, man. You know, it's been a, it's been a pleasure, man. But, like, um, I'd like to also ask you, you know, um, a very personal question. Yeah. And I hope you won't take offense. I come, from, I come from a generation which was probably like five, seven, almost 10 years below you. So I grew up listening to you, How old looking are you? up. I'm 25 now. Oh, okay. Right? Cool. But I was like, I was That's not, five years. I was five? But I was That's like, yeah, I was, five, seven years. Like. Imagine, I was like in high school when I first started listening to you and I was so inspired, you understand? Yeah. And when I heard you were from Turfentain, I was in South Hills, you know, growing up yeah. there. So it was like, crap, somebody from my neighborhood could actually make it out, yeah. you know? That's so the you, whole point. Yeah. You, you gave a lot of inspiration to us, you know? Yeah. And it wasn't and in, even in the way you guys were moving. Yeah. And we saw how close you guys were as a brotherhood. I really yeah. want you personally to tell me how you, as a man, have been coping with since this, uh, February 28th when you lost Ricky. Hey, man, you know, it's revolving doors. You know, when you lose a family member, it's like um, something else. Man. Yeah, but it's like, you know what I, you know what I hate in mm. general? It's like a lot of people just like to make it sad. You know? He should be happy. He did so much, and he um, he left a legacy. Yeah, it's like you know, but it's it'll it'll never like my my story mm. will never be the world story. True. You know what I mean? My name is not Ricky, so yeah. me spending time explaining to people what he meant to me doesn't bring me closer to him. You that's true. You can never get as close as you were when you were actually with him, because that's not something even. that. That's something that only you and him have, and it's forever. Yeah, you know? like for me, for me, he's with me every day. Like, it's different. Mm. It's different. Like everything, everything, everything that I do, everything that we do, everything that we did mm. is a bigger picture. And this, and, and this was a part of the process. Genuinely. You feel me? Yeah, I so do. I do. at the end of the day, like I always feel like, um, generally, like even in interviews, like people be like, yo, so. How you coping? I'm like, dog, it's like, yo, man. It's life. It's, it's not even his life. He's my brother. You know what I mean? He's, mm. he's just not here physically, but he's still, he's still here. here. Maybe I even bigger that. than he was before. Before. Because I, I believe that his impact is actually felt even more than it was before, now. That's how so, it goes. Yeah. That's they always love goes. you more when you're gone, man. Yeah. I hope that ain't going to be the case for you, man. We love you, man. I want nah, to you know. You deserve the flowers, dog. You. I don't want no fucking flowers. Keep your damn flowers. You deserve them though. You deserve them though. We gotta give them to you. I'm like, 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 I'm
Literally. Aren't you giving your address? That's why you young niggas getting paid. I don't paid. live there no more. You know, we move up in life. Come on now, relax. <laughs> you That's know, crazy. but like, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, we... The I was last time I got jumped was in South Hills. Yeah, I can imagine. That was a very colored, I don't know about can imagine. Area. What's well, about like, <laughs> can imagine? <laughs> like, the thing is, I've been there a long time. I stayed there for about 12 years of my yeah. childhood. So I experienced a lot of stuff there. Including like a few robberies, my, like robberies in, at home. Like I'm at school and they break into the house and I come home and there's nothing in the house. Oh, that's crazy. So, and it, it was mostly a colored area, you know? So yeah. that, it, it was quite dangerous, but well, still, it was it home, was, man. It wasn't you dangerous. Know? South Hills was it's actually quite safe. It, it was safer back then because there were more white people, respectfully. Nah, not even. South Hills was quite safe, man. Now? Dog, I'm from... I'm yeah, from, Taras village. Dog, yeah, Taras, I'm from Taras. the jungle, bro. Yeah, you for you, yeah. Where you go to the police station now, the cops say, where you got robbed? You tell them the address, they're like, hey, shit, yeah, there's hectic. Yeah, hey, we're not even going. <laughs> you're like, you're the cop. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's hectic. Yeah, it's I, if you know, if the cops say it's hectic. Ah, it's you hectic. Know? It's a lot. It's a lot. Hi, Chuck. That's, that, that's what I know you as. I don't know what the street be knowing you as. Which just, I'm just getting right into it. Me, yeah. I'm Lens Gaz. Hi. Anyways, uh, you know, I wanted to firstly know from, everybody knows you as Chuck, and what's the other name? Uh, what's 2190, something like that. <laughs> yeah, I want to know what happened to the name change. Like, what, did, what made you change the name from Chuck to Stilo? Because, you know, uh, I like Chuck, you know? <laughs> I, I still I mean, do, you know? if your name is Lens, obviously you like <laughs> Chuck. Um, it was a... Uh, Chalk was m m mostly synonymous with the reality show stuff and the fashion. So from Chalk to Stilo, it was one of those like, okay, cool. Uh, Stilo's music and Chalk is fashion. That was the, and that's why like even in my profile, you get like designer, stylish rapper. So it was like to kind of differentiate because like people, people, it's such a weird thing. It's like small things can trigger so much so and just and, and, and like how people like communicate or treat you or whatever so like it's so weird when i was making music as chalk people were like ah nah yeah like stick to this stick to the fashion but then as soon as i started making music as stilo then it, everything changed literally all right because yeah. i don't think a lot of, like guys i feel like i did too much research on you because i don't think a lot of people know what Stilo Makolite even means Stilo, right? Stands for style, right? If yeah, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's style. And then, of course, we know the Makolite, you know? Yeah, Which yeah. leads me to e, then what happened to the fashion side? Because the fashion side, when you first started, right? It was yeah. e Cream uh, cream Patel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with oh, who's Guy, Mome. Mo Mo what happened? And Abia, yeah. And Abia. What happened to that? Uh, the Because you know, that was a very big thing. Because I guess you guys were under in e, I'm a keep keep, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, was no, it no, I'm no. a keep keep trying to. No, so I'm a keep, I used to work at Amakip Keep. keep. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to work at Amakip Keep, keep, that's where I started. And then I got found um, by the director for Cream Cartel. And we did Cream Cartel the show, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Cream Cartel, we did two seasons and then that was done. Um, and then Cream Cartel was mainly the show, you know? And then from there, that's when I branched out, did Water. And then from Water, uh, did the music full time. And uh, I've always been in and like, I'd always go in and out with the fashion because just like a lot of the times it wasn't, I wasn't doing it how I wanted to do it. Oh, okay. um, on the scale I wanted to do it. Like I always wanted to be front facing. I wanted to be storefront. I wanted to be interactive with people. I wanted to be fresh. I wanted to be crisp. It's almost like I always treat water like a bakery, you know? Like everything needs to, I think it, I cook it, I make it, I put it out before I even have the chance to take a picture it's gone oh, and that's what it's been since we've had the pop-up you know? so you feel like there's a there was you just wanted to also see the shift between because you were saying that uchok right it was your name when you started first and when you were still yeah. doing the uh, the style the fashion and everything because yeah. that's definitely one thing i know that you're very influential on because yeah. i mean you open water and look at it right now i'm just yeah. chilling outside here you know but yeah. that my first interview with you would be in cream Qatar, but you know i was way too young then way too young so i just wanted to know now what do, what do you think is the difference from when you were at cream Qatar to now like what um change do you think was there like because of you talking about how you wanted to be in charge of your own thing so now yeah. what do you feel was different from then to now that you're doing i think more than anything maturity growth 
um, responsibility and uh, more than anything just being able to do something that grow something on my own you know because uh, water is my own Stilo Macolite, the brand is my own so it was always about ownership you know um, cream cartel wasn't our own like we were it was a it was a concept that was done by people and we were hired to do this job you know to do this reality show but they thought that the brand could live had, could outlive us and it couldn't outlive us you know um, and what I've always said is that if you're dope you it will always shine through regardless you know whether it takes two years three years ten years it will always come through and that's what happened Oh, okay, that's that sounds so great. So then, from there, and then we get into e boys and bags, of course. Then, yeah. like, how did boys and bags form out, and like, you know, to get to the phase that you all at? Because I've, I feel like boys and bags is just more than anything for me. It was like it's sort of like a movement, and it's um, a brotherhood. It wasn't like a, there wasn't a certain concept that more than anything, the concept that you guys brought for me was togetherness. You see, in our togetherness, there's still the individualness, but I want to support Anna as together. Yeah, like, yeah. Boys and Parks, the idea of, uh, of Boys and Parks is like, we were all friends and we were all just hanging out, doing cool shit, whatever, whatever. And everybody was doing their own thing and it was fantastic. And um, then there was a point where we were getting jobs collectively because they liked how this thing looked and it just kept growing and growing and then we like we formalized and we like yo this can do something for us and we did it and we made money from it we did, did it. but we've always moved individually and everybody did a lot of things individually but more than anything it then from from that became almost like a society energy where it's like as you said it's a support and when everybody when somebody drops something we all show up when somebody does an event we all show up and 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 that became the energy going forward you know also oh, uh and then how was it better uh you know like growing your different in like differently individually because of i feel like even in the group you know there were people that uh of course were known better than you know so how do you feel like you ended up like knowing your niche and you know finding yourself without pulling the because of you know how people will always be like, you see, you know, it's associates and a poison bag. So you're not poison bags. You, it's just your friends, but you know. You know, like, the, you know what the thing is, right? My niche, who I am in my niche was already who I was before the before I was in the group. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because like people have known me before the group. But the thing is about it is that the group did did the group did so well that almost everybody wants to make it about it mm. which is which is great because regardless of however you look at it it's still me right but your perspective doesn't gauge the value of the product because whether it's individually whether it's in the group whether it's in a in creep hotel wherever it was it was always top tier quality that was being put out the, the energy was always top tier. So for me, it's always like, regardless of however you cut the cake, what, so if you take a it. bite, if, if you know what I mean, if you take a bite, it's still sweet. You know? Uh, that's true. In fact, Mina, like, just fit, you need to get it, get yourself a sweet, come on. Come on, So do you, are you only doing it in orange though? Or is this like the... When, when, the, when the orange runs out, it unlocks a new color. Oh, when the orange one unlocks... <laughs> you have to buy all the orange to unlock the new to, color. To unlock the new color. Okay, okay, okay. So can I ask, so are you also actually in charge of your own uh, designs? Like, do you design this shit? And I'm creative you... director. I'm the cleaner in the shop. I'm the salesman in the <laughs> shop. I'm the manager in the shop. I'm the model in the shop. I'm the influencer in the shop. Okay, I'm okay. the security in the shop. That's right, that's you know right. Me? Okay, man. Anyways, guys, I really don't also want to keep this long. I just wanted yeah. to know to know more of your starting of the career, you know? Because I feel like a lot of people just know what, and they're like, I'll see you in the middle, but they don't really know also where you started from. Because me, I'm, I'm for where you started from to realize the, the, the uniqueness that you wanted to bring in for yourself, regardless yeah. of everything that you, you touched, you know? Yeah. You were there, you touched it, you moved. But you know, your individualism. Yeah, it's a whole, I can say, 
in, in all of this uh, is great and is impeccable to see, you know, the different, uh, to see you in the different stages. Because I was looking at this morning, I was looking at your video of Cream Qatar, when you, your intro, I think, when you guys had that call gate. Okay. Why you show people that, are like this? Show people that are proud. Aye! See, you're getting distracted quickly. Aye! Aye! Let me just... Aye! Aye! Let me end this. Yeah? Oh! See, you know, I just... See that? Yeah. Security. Anyways, before I leave, there's yeah. a very, very important thing that everybody wants to know. What's up? Me, I need to give a chalk. I don't know you are still. What's your actual name? My name is Michael. Did you hear? I told you guys that his name is Michael. I just didn't want to be the one saying it, you know. But anyways, guys, me, I ask Michael, you. Like Jordan. <laughs> no cap, like Jordan. What, 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 what Jordan? What, what Jordan's number? And I was born on the 23rd of May. On the no 23rd cap. of May, true. That I can't make this shit up, and my dad didn't even like basketball. Anyways, Michael, it was I can't great make to this shit up. It was great to I have you. I am greatness you, personified. Straight, because I need to be like I'm in. I'm not going to go to the line next to Michael. God's gift to Earth. You know that's that's right. I know that's right. But anyways, it was it's great having you on the show with your that's water. Dope, shout out. Thank you for it's been a blessing, man, and everybody. Please do keep it locked. You know, Eminem Forecast, Eminem TV. Bro. We are growing. We just launched a new show. Come on, come um, you know the North Side, uh, the North Side Live Show. So you, you guys be sure to check that out on the other channel. I'm, I'm sorry, on the other platform. Um, but yeah, always like, subscribe, follow. We should be good. Peace.